we got some news today. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing before we get started with this dope 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 news a couple of dope news items for this video give the video a big thumbs up like 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 let's get to the first news item big a new doc for the Nintendo Switch has been leaked and speculations are all over the place. Will this be what will be used in the Switch Pro um, to boost the processing power? Or will this be separate from the Switch Pro and something to not leave current Switch um, um, users behind? Say you have, you just bought the red Mario Switch. I'm still peeved that this isn't blue. Why isn't this strip blue for Mario? <laughs> Let's just say you just bought the new Switch. You just bought the Mario Switch. And you don't feel like buying the Switch Pro. Nintendo's like, we have a separate optional dock. You put it in the dock, it'll boost the processing power of this bad boy. But we don't know. But what we do know is it is officially in the latest Switch firmware. Data miners. This is coming from NintendoLife.com. Data miners have discovered something big. There is apparently new information emerging from emerging that firmware 12.0 supposedly contains evidence of a new dock designed for a new oh so okay scratch this it's designed for a newer model system I forgot I read this article but I forgot that part that can receive updates that's big and so it's designed for a newer model switch switch pro whatever this super switch whatever it's going to be called but what's dope about this is it can receive updates pretty much the dot that we currently have is just a piece of plastic an hdmi splitter that <laughs> allows the image to project to a, a hdmi tv a hd tv that's it nothing more nothing less but if this is true and this new dot can receive updates that means there's going to be some kind of processing, processing power within the dock, which is crazy, which has me think. And it's starting to increase my expectations again. My expectations were low, but this could mean, because I'm, I always wonder, as much as we're hyping up the Switch Pro, there's only so much you could do to keep it portable. There's only so much power Nintendo can put in it without having it cost a thousand dollars but if the dock when you dock it and it has additional oomph we could get some next gen quality gaming on a nintendo product is nintendo trying to compete nintendo hasn't competed in my opinion since the gamecube bro the wii they went a whole different route the wii u still a generation behind the switch dope console but it's still as far as just what it can push out power a generation behind let's see what nintendo does with this new dock all right bro metro prime 4 better be on the switch pro that's all i have to say about that but the next news item is crazy and came out of nowhere nintendo has just announced pac-man 99 a pac-man battle royale game available today that's right free for nintendo switch online members 
All, all of these companies trying to do these free. I'm telling you, competition is a great thing for gamers. We got Game Pass. That Sony need to step it up with PlayStation now. Nintendo. I like the NES Super Nintendo games because I'm old school. Uh, yeah, but this is free included with uh, your online membership and it's Battle Royale. If you remember Mario 35, you're playing the game, but there are 99 other players playing around you and they're just being eliminated. And what's dope is. When you eat the power pellets and the ghosts um, turn blue and they're running, you eat them, the ghosts fly off to other stages, making it harder for other players like it's doing that now, which is crazy. So there's a little bit more depth in this game. I will be trying this out. I'll probably try it out this morning if I have a chance, if I have time on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. That's where I do my gameplay. And I game with the sponsors on that channel too. But uh, this is this is dope. Pac-Man 99. Go and download it. Let me see if it's available. Let's do it live. I'm gonna see if it's available on the eShop right now while we're live. Eshop, go to the eShop. Alright, we'll get to the next news item while all this is um setting up. Alright. Next news item. And this is a big one e3 is back baby that's right e3 is going all digital all digital this year but it will be back they've officially announced it e3 will be coming back in june but one bigger mission sony nintendo and microsoft both have been confirmed to be a part of this year's digital e3 but um, um, Sony is nowhere to be found. But I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I'm looking up the Pac-Man 99. Um, because it's digital. So Sony could just do, yep, it's here. It's available. Pac-Man 99 free download. Go and download it right now. Um, Sony won't be at the official E3 event. But they're more than likely going to have their own presentation around the same time, the digital event. And so I can see that. I can see why they do that. It really doesn't make a difference to us as fans. I'm wondering if there's any fees or costs associated be, being tied in with the E3 um, company. Sony was like, now nah, we good. We do our own thing. So June should be lit for gamers. And I like, I like, I like the digital format that Nintendo have, has long been doing now everything will be all digital that square enix presentation we just had was so fire and it was all digital it was sort of like a nintendo direct and so should be should be should be dope and the last news item for this video a new assassin's creed game leaks are starting to come out this rumor comes from Assassin's Creed Insider, coming from comicbook.com. Assassin's Creed Insider, Jonathan, who, I'm not just saying a random dude. This dude correctly leaked Assassin's Creed Valhalla information before it was officially revealed. And so he has some kind of inside source within Ubisoft. So, according to him... The next game will be located during the Third Crusades, which happened between May um, 1189 to 1192. Um, will be England, France, and the Holy Roman Empire against Ayyubid Sultan Saladin. And so that appears to be the setting. That reminds me of the time frame for the first Assassin's Creed game. So are they going back to their roots? Assassin's Creed 1 was one of my favorites, man. It was just so um, game-breaking, um, um, game-changing. And so, new Assassin's Creed game has been leaked during the Third Crusades. What do you think? What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Deuces. You still watching this video? 
That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.